We increasingly communicate online and we even live our entire lives online. Documents live online, systems live online, even companies live online. So encryption is the one way for us to online close the door. I also used to believe that there is a security versus um, privacy trade-off. Um, today I mostly look at it as a um, security through privacy. Without privacy online, without securing our lives online, we become vulnerable. If you are conducting journalism online, and we increasingly do, then you need to be secure online. The threats are huge, um, and journalists don't take them seriously enough. We need proper security, we need proper encryption, you need to start taking this seriously. You have an obligation to a source, and if they get in touch with you by phone or email, then you should be taking uh, steps to protect them. After meeting Snowden, I realised this is for real. I know the tools, I, I know what they're capable of. So the first thing I did when I saw Snowden was, as soon as he saw my smartphone, he went into a panic. He says, you need to get that out of here. Um, I want you to uh, put it in another bedroom. And then he says, I, I want you not only to put it in a bedroom, I want you to put it in a fridge. One of them asked me, could you do a cost-benefit analysis of the Snowden revelations. I can tell you the benefits. Now, the benefits is we've had this huge debate and people now understand what the governments are capable of. 